All right, we're going to go ahead and get started with our session this afternoon. Um, as more people join in, we will add them to our conversation. Um, so that's part of what we're here to do is just to make sure um, that we're adding folks in as they're jumping on. Um, but I just want to say welcome to everybody. My name is Will Takewell. I'm the Associate Director for Student Leadership and Engagement. Um, and as you all probably know, this is a much different way than we're used to doing our involvement week um, and our involvement fairs whenever we are on campus for orientation. Um, but we are excited to offer these to our incoming students. Um, one thing to know about today's session, it is being recorded. Um, so any students who weren't able to join us for this call um, can watch the video later online through our website, um, on the Student Union website, if they would like to know a little bit more about getting involved in any of your organizations. Um, so some housekeeping things just before we get started so everyone can feel good about what we're doing here today. Um, please just make sure to mute yourself if you're not actively speaking on the call. Uh, we don't want any weird things to happen over Zoom or to hear like any conversations you don't want us to hear, um, all, of, all of those things. Um, so just be aware of that. And then we also wanna make sure that everyone on the call is aware of our active closed captioning and transcription service that we have um, that you can utilize and take advantage of. Um, what you can do is, I've posted the link in the chat, but if you would like to, you should see um, a live button and it says on otter.ai live notes. If you click on that, it will then allow you to open up a live stream of our chat um, and when people are talking. So you can use that for closed captioning. Um, one of the things we just want to make sure, you know, panelists, please do your best to try and keep um, your comments succinct because we will give you some time at the end um, to answer questions in sort of a Q&A format um, where the students participating can post some questions in the chat. At any point there are questions in the chat, we will bring it up for the group. Um, and what we will do is we'll just call on organizations um, as we kind of go and we'll set up a rotation so everyone will feel kind of comfortable about that and I'll post that in the chat in a second. Um, but again, if you have questions, please feel free to pose those in the chat or just to outright ask. Um, that's cool too. Just unmute yourself and ask your question. Um, but let's get started with our session today. Um, so this is our religious and spiritual organization session. I'm going to go ahead and post the list of the groups right here in our chat. One second. So we'll just kind of go in this order. Um, and what we're going to kick off with is just some general introductions of the panelists or the organizations that are on the call. So tell us, you know, your name, the name of your organization, um, and sort of what you either do here at the university or um, if you are a student, what your classification and major is. So looks like our first group would be the Baptist Student Union. Yeah, hi, I'm Cameron. Um, I'm from, I'm the president of the Baptist Student Union, and I'm a senior English major this year. Hey, everyone. My name is Daniel Johnson. I'm one of the directors of the Baptist Student Union. Oh, do you keep on moving down? Well, my name is Avery. Uh, I'm head of recruitment of Beto Salon Kai, and my major is Chinese. I'm a junior. My name is Pate Bryan, even though it says Hunter Bryan, I'm not sure, but uh, I am social media chair, uh, social chair for Beidou Sankai. Uh, I'm going to be a senior uh, business marketing major. Hi, I'm VD Olivi, and I am the campus minister for Catholic Campus Ministry, um, and um, I'm the campus minister, I'm not a student, so um, yeah, we do have a lot of students active, but none of them could join me. So that is me. Um, I'm Austin Parker. I am a student leader with Chi Alpha Christian Fellowship. I am a senior journalism major. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Kiri Jones. I am a student leader for Chi Alpha Christian Fellowship, and I am a senior. Hey, I'm Lizzie. Um, I have interned with Ole Miss Crew the past two years and I'm joining full-time staff in the fall. Hey y'all, I'm Joel. I work on staff as well with Ole Miss Crew and excited to be here with y'all. Hi, 
Hello, my name is Tia Turner. I am the president of InterVarsity Christian Fellowship. I am a senior majoring in psychology. Hey, I'm Bailey. I am the president and campus coordinator, coordinator for Pine Lake College, and I am a senior biology major. Hey y'all, I'm Avery. I'm with um, Pine Lake College. I am the freshman coordinator for them, and I am a junior majoring in psychology. Hey, I'm Elise Jones. I'm an intern at the Rebels for Christ Campus Ministry. I'm a senior social work major. And uh, I'm Ben. Uh, my wife, Mary Beth, and I are the campus ministers at the Rebels for Christ Campus Ministry. Uh, and we're excited to be here with y'all. Uh, we're actually sitting out on our porch, so hopefully you can hear us. Hey, y'all. My name is Carly. I'm the president for Sigma Phi Lambda. I'm an exercise science major, and I'll be a senior this fall. Hey y'all, I'm Abigail. I'm the chaplain for Sigma Phi Lambda and I'm a junior English major. Hey everyone, my name is Asia Eichelberger. I am the president of the University of Mississippi Gospel Choir. I am a senior sports and recreation administration major from Louisville, Mississippi. Nice to meet you all. Um, hey everyone, my name is Ontarius Woodland. I am the choir director for the University of Mississippi Gospel Choir and I am a junior in choral music education. Hey everybody, my name is Allison Waring and I am the campus minister at UKirk. Okay, um, I'm Daniela Davis. I'm a senior here at Ole Miss um, with, and I'm a young life leader, and I'm majoring in communication sciences and disorders. And hey, I'm Jack. Um, I'm also a young life leader, uh, and I'm a senior now, and uh, a mechanical engineering major. All right, and just to make sure I didn't miss anybody, do we have any other groups on the call? Um, that maybe didn't register or anything like that. Just want to make sure. All right, cool. We'll keep it moving then. Um, so to kind of kick us off, you know, this is a panel and we want to make sure that for the new students who are coming to campus this fall, um, they can learn a little bit more about each of your individual organizations. Um, so to kick us off, tell us a little bit about the purpose of your organization um, and what maybe kind of contribution you make to campus. And we can just Let's start, let's keep it fresh and fun. Let's start from the bottom. Um, so starting with Young Life and then go to the top. Not to put y'all on the spot. I know you're probably like, oh, we were last, so awesome, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, we got this. Um, so Young Life is uh, a campus ministry um, on Ole Miss uh, and across the country. And uh, a big part of our organization is to send college kids into high schools as leaders um, and just help them navigate the, the craziness of high school um, and just questions with spiritual walk. Um, and even if they have no idea who Jesus is, uh, to introduce them uh, to that and help, uh, help them find their way. Um, but it, it's not limited to that. Uh, we are both college leaders. And so uh, we um, lead Bible studies of fellow college students uh, and just get to, to live life with them. Uh, help guide them spiritually uh, in any way we can and to just just build community uh, that we we get to love and just have fun with okay um well for you kirk we are um i should say first Kirk is a Scottish word for church, so our name means university church. Um, institutionally, we are Presbyterian, um, but have students from all sorts of different backgrounds that come, so we don't care where you come from, um, uh, but Presbyterians have a bit of Scottish heritage. Um, so our uh, vision, our goal for being part of the Ole Miss community um, 
really is to give people a space to um, ask questions. Uh, I'm not the kind of pastor that can promise like for sure answers that are super comfortable all the time, but um, I think that college is a really um, unique opportunity for um, people to figure out who they are sometimes uh, in places that are not what they're used to um, and figure out what God has to do with it. Um, so our goal is to um, really uh, nurture a community uh, where everybody is um, welcome to bring all of their stuff, whatever that may be, um, and, and really just authentically um, figure out who they are in a group. I guess it's us. Um, so, for as far as the University of Mississippi Gospel Choir, I think, wait, what was the question? I'm sorry. Can you repeat the question? No, it's okay. So, what is sort of the purpose of your organization? What's the contribution you make to campus? Okay. So, the purpose, for me, the purpose of, you know, of UMGC is um, basically to just spread God's love through worship and, and song. Um, the contribution that we make on campus, we participate in um, lots of events like oh, worship nights. Uh, we have the student union events that go on. We come and sing. Um, it's just just having students on campus come together, sing, sing gospels, spirituals, any type of religion songs that we can think of and just spreading the love of Jesus. Okay, well, I guess it's my turn. Um, Sigma Phi Lambda is a Christian non-Panhellenic sorority. So um, we do a lot of the things that sororities do, but for the express purpose of glorifying the Lord Jesus Christ, making his name great. Um, and we do that by providing fellowship, a group where women can gather together and um, meet regularly and um, just be able to grow closer to the Lord. And then we also pursue glorifying God in our community through like service projects and philanthropy events and things that um, I guess normal sororities would do, but we do it for the express purpose of um, just glorifying the Lord and being able to give back to the community. Um, the Rebels for Christ campus ministry uh, is the campus ministry of the Oxford Church of Christ. Um, but like uh, the UKIRK campus minister was saying, we have, we have people from, from many different backgrounds uh, and, and everyone's welcome. Uh, but it's our goal to bring about a rev revolution of redemption on the Ole Miss campus. Uh, and we want to do that in two ways. I mean, as freshmen, you're going to come in and you're just going to be bombarded with flyers and trinkets and, and free food, uh, just hundreds of different activities and organizations vying for your attention and your allegiance. And so it's just our goal to orient your life as a campus ministry towards Christ on the college campus. Uh, and that's how we think we'll bring about uh, a revolution of redemption. And then also um, we hope to provide uh, a place to belong because a place to belong is actually something, in my opinion, that is quite revolutionary on a college campus. And I'll let Elise kind of talk about uh, that. Yeah, so Rebels for Christ is a place where you can find community and though there are diff people from all different backgrounds in all different places, that's what college is. It's such a great opportunity to meet people from all sorts of different places. And so I know that the RFC is a place where anyone is welcome and you can find friends and you can find mentors. And those are two things that are super important when you come to college. And I know that I found that there and I'm thankful for that. And I know that any freshmen who are looking for that type of community will also find it here as well. So Pine Lake, uh, Pine Lake College um, is the college ministry associated with Pine Lake Church. Um, and our overall mission is just to see um, Old Miss changed one story at a time, um, and we work really hard to build community um, by having small groups. We also have worship service on Wednesday nights, and we have a lot of opportunities to make a difference both locally and abroad um, with local and international missions.
University Christian Fellowship is on this campus to invite everyone at Ole Miss into a multi-ethnic community growing towards wholeness and freedom in Jesus. The contribution that we make to this campus is allowing a safe place for students with or without any type of religious background to come and feel welcome. Hey, uh, so Ole Miss crew, uh, crew nationwide exists to win students to Christ, build them up in their faith, and send them out into their um, areas of influence. And so whether that's vocationally uh, as you uh, walk through your life or as, it, as you're here on campus, um, really helping you navigate a lot of the things that uh, you face in, in your college career. And so um, we wanna equip and train students to have a personal ministry and we're not a church on campus. Um, we are much more a resource of the church to be able to help uh, train and equip and um, yeah, just give you a real perspective on what it looks like to walk with God during your time in college. And so uh, we do that through Bible studies, um, do that through uh, missions trips and uh, different uh, conferences and retreats. And so, um, yeah, we'd love for you to consider uh, being a part of what we're doing here on campus. So Chi Alpha Christian Fellowship, the name uh, is Greek, but we are not a fraternity or a sorority or anything. Uh, the name comes from Christ Ambassadors, which is uh, in 2 Corinthians 5. Um, our sort of main goal is, you know, to reconcile students to Christ, and we want to transform not only the university, but the marketplace, and in turn, the world. And the main way that we believe this is done is through transgenerational discipleship. So that means mentoring, investing, and pouring into people who can then go and mentor and invest and pour into more people, and so forth and so forth. Um, so on this campus specifically, we want to help to create a warm atmosphere that allows any student to come and to not only grow closer to one another, but as well to grow closer to Jesus. And we also very strongly believe in fighting for racial reconciliation on our campus beyond the point of what's comfortable and what's easy for us. Hi, so uh, Catholic Campus Ministry, um, we've been here for a while serving the Catholic community. Um, obviously, we welcome anybody else who would like to learn more about the Catholic faith, um, just interested in it, or if you want to come with a friend, um, we are not just Catholics. We have different people from different walks of life um, just coming to check us out. But um, our, we want to be a spiritual home away from home. Um, I know a lot of Catholics have a particular parish that they're tied down to in their hometown, and so we want to be able to create that environment for you when you are here. We want to be able to serve you and provide you with the resources um, that you need during college to continue on the path of getting to know Jesus Christ. And um, aside from that, too, we do talk a lot about theology, a lot about um, the church, what the church says, um, and all, all that fun stuff. So you can get super in-depth here. Um, we have a lot of Bible studies. We disciple people um, to continue that walk, and we also want to create a community to where um, you're not walking alone on the path to getting to know Jesus. Um, it is very much, um, you know, you need friends to keep you accountable, and so that is what we want to provide here for you. Well, Beta Upsilon Chi's uh, purpose is um, we are a fraternity of Christian men, and we want to establish brotherhood and unity among college men and um, through the bond of Jesus Christ. And the one, the most important thing about uh, Bucks is that we are a lifelong brotherhood. So we have a strong alumni association that we can connect to. And um, one of the things, and we'll pay, we want to expand on the contribution that we give to the campus. <laughs> Absolutely. I think it uh, hit the nail on the head. Um, so yeah, basically uh, we're a tight knit brotherhood. Uh, of committed Christian men, uh, somewhat like Sigma Phi Lambda, we like uh, we allow uh, young men to have an alternative to the present fraternal lifestyle, uh, with everything being based in Christ. Uh, and a few ways that we show that is through Bible studies, small groups that we call cell groups, um, just to have that accountability as you're walking through college, and to have um, a close knit brotherhood uh, where you can rely on guys. Um, but outside of just the brotherhood, we participate in service projects. We encourage uh, our members to go uh, to uh, different churches, different campus ministries, whatever they would like to get plugged into, uh, just to be able to show the love of Christ uh, across the campus. And you can't just stay 
uh, in one tight knit group uh, to be able to show the light. So we do encourage others to go to campus ministries, go to churches and get plugged in that way and then find ways uh, to spread their light uh, through other elements. Perfect. So we're the Baptist Student Union, um, and our vision is to know Jesus and to make him known. Um, and our mission with that is that we exist to help students find community, to follow Jesus, and to change the world. So if you kind of think of it as a pipeline in that um, we want students to get connected. Um, we want to help them discover who Jesus is, to fall deeply in love with him. Um, and then we want to send them out to wherever um, they end up um, to change the world for the gospel. Um, the impact that we make um, on our campus is just being a light in a dark place, um, a place that we can put things through the lens of the gospel, help students answer uh, huge life questions that um, they're asking at these during these four, five, six years of their lives um, and helping them answer those questions through the lens of the gospel. Um, and so, yeah, that's who the Baptist Student Union is. Awesome. Thank you all so much for all those introductions. That's great. Um, it's great to see all the different groups that we have on the call today, um, kind of doing some different things. So that's really neat. Um, so the next question is a little bit more about some of the programming or events that you all might do um, in a typical year, which obviously the fall will look a little different because, you know, coronavirus who's tired of hearing about that. But um, we wanna just sort of give you an opportunity to talk about what are some of your favorite, what is one of your favorite events or programs that you offer throughout the year? Um, and we can start um, in the same order as well, just to kind of keep it going in the same trajectory. So um, for Young Life, one of my favorite things that we do every year is we get the chance to go and do work week at a Young Life camp. It's usually kind of the, um, last week of the year. So Young Life, like we said, is um, a high school ministry, but also it's in college as well. And so um, college kids get the opportunity to go to a Young Life camp at the end of the year and kind of prepare that camp for all the high school kids that are going to come during the summer and hear about Jesus. And so it's completely free for college kids. And we basically get access to the camp for um, five days in return for um, us being there and kind of serving and giving our time to get the camp ready. Um, and that's been probably my favorite memory of like every year of college is going to work week and where I had the opportunity to just meet so many people and build so many cool relationships because I think that really cool relationships come out of um, selflessly like serving and giving your time. Um, and so um, I've made some of my favorite memories of college on that trip and also um, built some of my um, favorite friendships on that trip as well. And so um, that's probably my favorite thing that we do every year. Yeah. And uh, mine, I think it's hard to pick because we do a lot of trips. Um, we get to go on lake trips uh, for freshmen. Um, we've gone to, to Six Flags in Georgia um, last year. Um, and Florida for spring break, but I think I would have to say Florida on the spring break trip. Uh, we went to Panama City Beach, and it was so much fun. Um, we just all got to hang out and uh, play volleyball and um, go worship Jesus um, every day and just grow closer to each other uh, and just really encounter uh, God in, in a cool way in his creation. So at Ukirk, uh, we have a couple different weekly gatherings that we'll have more details for you later when we see what the fall looks like. But um, one uh, particular thing that I really appreciate um, doing with our students is that we travel to Western North Carolina every January for um, a national college conference that's Ukirk's from all over the country um, and keynote speakers and worship services and um, workshops about all sorts of different things and it's really just a great way to um, not only have some great bonding time among ourselves hanging out in the mountains for a few days um, but to hear and have conversations with people um, from all over the country and really uh, often with the keynotes and worships dig into um, what does it mean in the wider society to be a follower of Christ. Okay, we say this stuff, what are we going to do about it? Um, and so 
I've always really appreciated having the extra perspectives of um, people we don't get to interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. So for a gospel choir, every school year we have a fall and a spring concert. That's mainly the biggest thing that we work towards every year. It's just a time for us to showcase to the schools, to the community, to our parents, what what we've actually been doing in practices every every Monday we have practice and we learn new songs. Uh, we invite many churches, many other school choirs. We have local artists from everywhere. Um, it's really just a good time just to show people, you know, the spirit is just not in the church. It's wherever we are. And that's really just our time to have fun, praise the Lord. It's just a, a really good time. So for Sigma Phi Lambda, because we're a um, Christian sorority, we do a lot of the things that a normal sorority would do, but with the, the twist of worship. So um, we have weekly chapter meetings where we um, play music and sing together and have um, weekly devotionals and discussion times. So, so a lot of um, really good Christian connections made there. But our big event, I guess, that we have every semester is our chapter retreat where we spend 24 hours um, all together and we really get to spend a lot of time um, digging into um, like those Christian friendships, relationships, and also we get to encourage each other. We get to once again worship together. And it's just, it's one of the things that I look forward to every semester with all these girls. It's it's always a, a time that brings all of us much, much closer together. So I think that our retreats are the biggest thing that we do. Um, obviously, the semester is going to look very different because it's hard to plan a, a time for the whole group to be together at once. But um, we're go still going to attempt to have a very worshipful time this semester. So. So the RFC meets weekly. And then at the beginning of every school year, we have what we call Welcome Week. And so last year, um, I was a transfer student. So last year's Welcome Week was my first Welcome Week. And I know that my favorite event that we did was virtual game night because <laughs> um, I think we played like Smash Bros and Just Dance and like just games like that. And we created a bracket. And it was just a really fun way for everyone to be able to be involved. And it was just a simple way to get to know people. Um, Welcome Week is super fun because we do something every night and you get to see a bunch of new faces and it's a really good opportunity to meet people and make new friends. And then we also went to Gulf Coast Getaway last year, which was the best trip that we took. Um, and then I know that this year we're planning some retreats that we're super excited about um, to try to do some more outdoor stuff in the new world that we're living in <laughs> and we're also about to head inside because the rain's about to come down on us hey um okay so one of my favorite favorite things about pine lake we have many different things without um pine lake college we have missions we take our yearly passion trip we um can serve and do small groups but i think my favorite thing that we have to offer is small groups for sure um, it's definitely an experience that I never knew that I needed throughout my um, college experience. Um, it created such strong friendships and um, it was just incredible. I was a little nervous at first, which everyone would be going into a room of people that you don't really know, um, but quickly it became my favorite part of every single week. Um, it became something that even if I had a test the next day that I needed to study for, I was like, I'm going to small group because I know this is going to be worth it. And it is every single time. I've met some incredible leaders who have also pushed me and grown me in my faith. And now I'm becoming a small group leader and I'm getting to rise up other people to become small group leaders. So it's just this beautiful chain um, that is incredible for um, just community and family and just finding those friends to um, uplift you through everyday life. Um, they just challenge you, but also lift you up with your praises and um, just get you through all your struggles that college will come through. So it's, um, it's been incredible. That's definitely my favorite thing is um, our small groups with Pine Lake College. 
Um, my favorite thing about AnniVarsity is between our holiday parties and our retreats. During our holiday parties, it's like a big family dinner. We all come together and we eat, we play games, we sing together. And during our retreats, we are able to travel to other places and fellowship with other universities within our organization. It is an amazing experience being able to fellowship and worship with other college students and the spirit, it's amazing. And you're able to see other college students growing, growing in their faith and praising openly. It's just, it's beautiful to see. Okay, so um, it's really hard for me to pick just one favorite event or program that we do at the crew. Um, we do a lot of things throughout the year, every week. Um, but I think over the past like four years of being involved, the two best are our spring break trip. We go overseas and we work with a group called Filters of Hope. And so we um, give these like really amazingly cool, very technologically advanced filters to people that filter water and um, we share the gospel with them. And it's just, it's so cool. We went to Cuba and Guatemala last spring break and it's seriously just one of the coolest trips. And then also we do a, longer summer project in the summer, or just like a mission trip for four weeks in a different country. My junior year of college went to Rome, Italy, and it was best food, best time, best fellowship. Um, but now we've started going to Brisbane, Australia. So four or five weeks in Australia every summer is pretty cool. I kind of agree with um, Lizzie that it's hard to just choose you know, just one thing, so I'm going to talk about two, because listen, listen, listen. Um, my first favorite thing is our core group, which are our small group Bible study uh, we hold weekly. So I am a student leader. So for the past maybe two years, I think I've been hosting Bible studies around campus, and it's the most amazing thing, um, simply because I have been given the opportunity to create those close-knit relationships with other girls on campus which now those relationships grow in lifelong friendships, like being in, being in each other's marriages and just being there for the long haul. Um, the second thing I really love about Chi Alpha is our spring break missions trip. So if you've ever been on a trip with anybody, you know, during that trip at some point, you just get close with the people you're with. Um, so with the missions trip, it's just a really great opportunity to get closer to other students um, and just to really serve people. Um, on my first mission trip, that's where I really learned about servanthood um, because it's such a selfless time um, just to be there in other places, just serving people. Um, we usually serve other campus ministries wherever we are, or I've been to Boise, Idaho twice um, on my past two mission trip and we serve the Boise Rescue Mission that caters to homeless people. So it's just a very great opportunity to just serve and also to promote Jesus, which who doesn't love to do that? Um, but yeah, those are my two favorites. Yeah, so um, kind of like y'all were saying, it's kind of hard to just pick one, um, but as, as a campus minister, I actually went to school at Ole Miss too, and so, um, I, there's a lot of things that I loved when I was a student, and now that I'm a campus minister, uh, implementing more things and, and stuff, um, it's just, it's been really cool to see that. But um, one thing that I really enjoyed on um, just kind of a smaller scale um, is when I was a student and now is on Wednesday nights, um, we would go to Juba, we would get smoothies for everybody, kind of have 20 minutes of, you know, fellowship, everybody kind of talking, you know, meeting one another, and then we would have a speaker um, come in either from the parish, from the university, whatever that is, and talk about Catholic things. You know, the topics could vary, um, you know, it could be about one thing or another, um, but yeah, so we, I always enjoyed learning more about the Catholic faith that way, and also just getting um, a perspective from somebody else, whether that's a professor, whether that's a student, whether that's a parishioner, um, and uh, it's just really cool to see um, the Catholic faith through a different lens. Um, and another thing um, that uh, as a student, I didn't get to experience, but now that I'm here, um, these conferences have blown up, but it's called Seek. And what it is, is uh, it's just a 
ginormous um, conference that is hosted by FOCUS. And they, FOCUS stands for Fellowship of Catholic University Students. And they put on this um, conference every year and it's in different locations. Um, this past December, it was in Phoenix, I believe. And it's just, a, just you're looking at, you know, anywhere between 10 to 20,000 um, Catholic students and everybody comes together. You get to meet other students from different schools, um, some from different countries as well. And it's just a great time to uh, worship together, um, kind of seeing the church, the Catholic church coming in from all over, sometimes being so small, especially in the South. Um, you kind of feel like there's not that many Catholics, but then when you go to these conferences, it just really shows you how big um, the Catholic church is, even when you're in a small town with very few Catholics. Um, so there's just a few things that, that I've enjoyed seeing um, as a student and also just working here. Um, one, of, one of my favorite things that uh, our fraternity does is, um, the uh, is a service project. Um, we do it every semester. And um, one, of the, one of my favorite things about the service project is that we delegate it to a certain person that would like to pick a town in, um, and affect that town in Mississippi. I believe um, the last service project that we were able to do was in Hernando, Mississippi, and we got to build a playground. It was wet, rainy. We still got it done, but um, it was one of the things that I remembered most from our um, from my from 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 um, from what we did on that service project. And one of the best things about the service project was that we had an opportunity to give back to a community that was outside of Oxford. Yeah, I would say uh, it is hard just to choose one. Um, I've always personally enjoyed, we have uh, an annual island party uh, in 1985 when we were founded, uh, the founders of Beidou Tlankai threw an island party to kind of commemorate the founding. Uh, and so every year, every chapter nationwide throws an annual island party. Um, last year we had like a huge slip and slide, we had a slushy machine, we had a DJ, and it's just a way to uh, show the love of Christ to the entire community. It's open to anyone. And I just love that we get to show that love and just bring people out and they get to know who we are, what we're about, uh, in any way we can help them in the future. So at the BSU, uh, I know like, my favorite thing I look forward to every week is our Tuesday night. We have what's the main event. And it's just our worship service where uh, just everybody comes together at the very beginning of the week and we can just worship together there's fellowship and there's a lot of friendships that are made there and i can say i remember my freshman year the first few weeks especially when i didn't know many people it was great to have a place to go where you felt like home when you came in uh, and from there that's where we get together and we also announce anything else that we do so uh, during football season we go and clean up the grove after some home games which isn't as fun but it's still, it's still great work, and it's a good service that we do for our kids. Yeah, that, that uh, Clean the Grove helps us raise money for uh, summer missions, which is a lot of our students come back, and we'll say that's one of the highlights of their college career. And we offer short-term mission trips as well, which I would say is one of the highlights of the things that we do. We always go to New York, um, Mexico, and to Portugal every year. Um, and so those are great trips. Um, throughout, I think one of the highlights that we do throughout um, Welcome Week is we do glow games, and so we'll do typically do glow in the dark dodgeball. We'll do uh, glow in the dark capture the flag, um, and just throughout the semester, I think one of my favorite things is I'll take uh, groups of students on hiking trips and just some other things of, of people if they have any interest in those things. We'll just kind of go on a short-term mission trips or go hiking or do any of those kind of um, fellowship events. Awesome. So I'll kind of go to our next question. Um, but what does the membership experience look like in your organizations? And what are some services that students can take advantage of through your organizations? We can go in the same order. Okay, so um, membership with Young Life pretty much is just um, we have weekly events that everyone is welcome to, um, and then we also have weekly life groups that are led by college leaders um, that if you want to come, like, we are more than happy to have you, um, and it's just open to anyone on campus, and like you said, or like we said, it's kind of a 
um, it's for college kids that want to have, you know, their ministry that they go to and that they get poured into, but also um, there's the opportunity for them to go through leader training and to get, you know, set into high schools where they get to then pour into high school kids and grow in their faith um, that way as well. Um, but most people will just um, start out by coming to club like any other campus ministry. They're just coming um, to our weekly event that we have at our college director's house where um, we just get together and build community and have fun and um, play some games and um, have some worship and get to hear a talk and um, yeah, just get to hear about Jesus every week. But that's, um, that's what I guess membership with Young Life would kind of look like. Pretty similar here at UKirk. Um, membership, I guess, officially is come to a UKirk thing or let me buy you a cup of coffee sometime. Um, our weekly gatherings are on Tuesdays. Um, we have a building uh, right off the square in Oxford, about a mile from campus. Um, and so we have a worship service every Tuesday night um, with dinner. And then uh, we have a weekly drop-in check-in time. We've done it both at lunchtime and at kind of afternoon coffee hour um, where people can just drop in in between classes, get a cup of coffee to go or stay and hang out a little while. Um, and then sporadically uh, we'll have other opportunities for um, fellowship and service and, and that sort of thing, depending on um, the season and uh, what conversations people are wanting to have um, either around scripture or current events or whatever it might be. Um, so we try and have a good variety of things so people can sort of plug in wherever they might be most comfortable. So for gospel choir, at the beginning of every um, school term, we have an um, uh, information meeting to let students come and they hear about all of the um, great eight organizations that we have on campus to um so for gospel choir there is no tryout required you can just come and um have praise and worship with us we don't um we also um have members that pay dues everybody pays dues if you want to be a part of the choir but if you not if you just want to fully support the choir without being in the actual choir itself, we um we host our own events that are um put on by our co-directors of internal outreach. We have study nights, we have movie nights, we go to the gym, we have workout sessions, we have game nights. Just um we have collaboration um events with the other organizations around campus. Just pretty much anything that you want to join, just feel free to come. We don't mind. So for Philam, it's a little bit different than most campus uh, ministries, I guess, because it's a per semester type um, agreement, I guess. So we'll have recruitment this fall um, for three different dates in September, September 8th, 10th, and 11th. And then from there, you'll have a meeting with our officer group to just kind of like get to know each other and kind of uh, learn a little bit more about what Five Lamb looks like. And then from there, you'll go through induction. So you'll be inducted as a new member of Five Lamb. And then you'll go to new member meetings and um, just learn about our history and like why we stand for what we stand for. Um, other membership requirements for Five Lamb is that you're part of a Bible study outside of Five Lamb because we know that Five Lamb is a great chance to have community, but also um, we want you to expand your community from outside of just our sorority. Um, along with a Bible study, we have points requirements and dues and points are like any event that we host or any meeting that we have like chapter or prayer groups or um, Worship nights, anything like that is points. And so once you meet those requirements, you can become an active member of Philam and then you just get to enjoy all the benefits of having a great sisterhood. Um, I think uh, like many of the just kind of outside student organization campus ministries, uh, there, we don't have hard membership. Um, our, our building is actually right across the street from Rebel Drive or the Stockard and Martin dorms, uh, which is 409 West Jackson Avenue. Uh, and, and we're just, we're always open. Uh, and we're always kind of uh, here and, and re ready to hang out with you and ready to talk about whatever you want to talk about. Um, 
we do have kind of like, you know, if, if like, what does it mean? Maybe I'll kind of shift the question. What does it mean to be an RFC -er? Um, you know, it would really be three things. You come to connect, which is our weekly worship gathering on Wednesday night at 7 PM, uh, in, in our building, um, which we'll try to do that as outside as much as possible this year. But, um, and, and I'll usually teach, we'll, we'll, we'll have time of worship as well. Um, the other, the second thing is we have, uh, we call them FaceTime groups on Sunday night. Um, and there, there are small groups, uh, and, and we'll tr this year attempt to have a freshman FaceTime group and which, so that you can get connected with people in your class and, and, and inside of, you know, and y'all can develop a community that you'll have for the next four and let's just be honest, five, six years. Um, and then finally, um, we have discipleship groups and, and you can kind of see that each, each of these kind of things ups the level of intensity of kind of spiritual maturity and discipleship groups. Uh, we're going to have our student, Mary Beth and I, Mary Beth's my wife and fellow campus minister. And then some of our student leaders will be pouring out into, to you students, um, and, and pushing y'all to grow, um, in your faith. And I'll, I'll let Elise kind of talk about some of that as well. Yeah. So we mentioned connect, which we have every Wednesday night and he often teaches. And so I'll just, um, everything that we learn there is very um, applicable to daily life and transformative in your Christian life. And so my favorite series that we did this past year was on work. And so it was just basically talking about how Christ is present in your daily life as we are currently students. Um, and some of you might be trying to discover your major. Some of you might know your major and be working towards your future career already. So that was very transformative for me in understanding where Christ is when I'm walking on campus, going to class, um, and where he'll be for me in the future when I do begin to work in the field. Um, I'm a social work major, so that's where I'll be. And then also beyond structured events, um, the building that we have, he mentioned is right across the street. Um, is always open so we'll have a bunch of random events like so you'll develop friendships here like i mentioned earlier community is probably the number one thing that i've gotten out of the rfc that's benefited me greatly and i've developed great friendships so there'll be random hangout times and the doors of the rfc are always open so you can come here to study um, we have a game room you can come here to hang out and so that's just kind of a little bit what it looks like and then if you stick around to the end of the year I don't know if any of you are Office fans or fans of The Office, but every year at the end of the year, we have Dundee Awards. <laughs> and so you will receive a Dundee, and that is really fun. <laughs> um, so Pinelight College, we don't have any membership requirements. We really strive to be a ministry where students feel welcome to come just as they are. Um, and so not only are we a, cam a campus ministry, but we're also part of Pine Lake Church here in Oxford. And we wanna give students the opportunity to not only take part in our on-campus events and our weekly Wednesday night services for college students, but also to find a church home in Oxford and to find people um, where students can find people and community to walk beside them in the next couple years of their life. Um, and we also wanna help students get connected with small groups and to have opportunities opportunities to grow, whether that's, you know, going on a mission trip or um, serving in our church or even becoming a student leader with our college ministry. For InterVarsity as well, we do not have, a, you don't have to officially join. Anyone is welcome and anyone can come as they please. A typical week is a small group, which is once a week. And what small group is, is a Bible study where you don't have to have any prior knowledge. We dissect one passage each week and all the information that you need comes through that specific passage. Also, we come together for lunch. We have um, one day where we come and do prayer. Also, we have game nights and parties and we did tables and small some small groups will be in person and other ones will be virtual this time. And also we will have our retreats. Some will be online and you're able to connect with people all over the world. Okay, so very similar to what the other campus ministries have shared with Cree, there's no like official membership. Um, we're an interdenominational ministry, which means we're just open to all denominations. Um, we're not like specifically partnered with any one church. Um, and 
obviously open to people who are not part of any denomination that are just curious, I don't know, just wondering what Christianity is or what it looks like. Um, and then I just think some of the events programs we have that I would totally encourage students to take advantage of would be um, we have a weekly meeting, like a large group meeting, Tuesday nights, um, worship, preaching, student testimony, things like that. Um, we have like the more seasonal events, like a fall retreat, a spring leadership retreat, spring break, summer projects. Um, and then every week we have a bunch of different Bible studies that are led by students and discipleship groups. And the discipleship groups are just like a group of maybe, I don't know, four to 10 people. We'll see what it'll be this year with social distancing, but um, four to 10, 10 people that meet weekly and go through this um, just program that we have set up. It's like 22 weeks of material. It's so great. Um, you just learn so much about the Bible, growing community. And then we also do have, I guess, some form of membership with uh, student leadership. And it's just, uh, we have monthly meetings with that. It's just kind of a little um, more focused and you get to learn a little bit more about how to be a leader in your sphere of influence. So with Chi Alpha, um, we have sort of three main things that we do throughout every week. Um, so we'll have our biggest things, what we kind of call core groups, our small group Bible studies. They're hosted by all of our student leaders all throughout the week on different days and at different times. So there's always sort of a spot you can kind of find that you're available to come through. And that's just where we and people get together and just study the Bible and really glow close, close together and, you know, just dig into the word together. Um, we also do, we have Wednesday night services which is just going to be like, you know, live gospel worship, student testimony, you know, word from a campus pastor or someone else. And, um, and that's just a time where all of the ministry comes together and is able to fellowship and, you know, worship together. Of course, you know, with COVID, we're not sure exactly how the parameters of that are going to look. You know, we're going to have to change some things around just to, you know, help with social distancing. But we're still working that off through that. And we're also, um, another big thing that we do that I really love is, we typically every week will have outreaches, so we'll table on campus and just go out and you know have different ways just to interact with students and to listen to them and you know have an opportunity to share about what Chi Alpha is and just about and who in turn who Jesus is and open up that door for that conversation. But again, you know, a lot of the other campus ministries have said we do not have any particular like thing where okay now you're a member, you know. But typically, people who are involved in Chi Alpha go to our a weekly core groups, at least one of them, and then also our Wednesday night services. Uh, yeah, so for Catholic Campus Ministry, so we don't have, again, like most of y'all have said, an official like membership uh, thing that you have to do. Um, really what a membership, I guess, looks like is just attending things um, whenever you can. We have between three to four events on a weekly basis. Um, some of that is held here at the church. Some of that is held somewhere else, but um, that's kind of what the membership looks like. Um, you can be as involved as you want to be. Um, so whether that's attending one thing a week, two things a week, or um, if you want to eventually apply to be on our core team, that is another way to, to get more involved in our ministry. Um, we are tied to a church. Uh, so we are here at St. John, uh, the Evangelist Catholic Church, and it is the first building off of campus. We're right next to the Ford Center. The thing that separates us is the driveway. So uh, we are right off campus. We have students coming to the church all day, just walking, you know, between classes if they want to come. Uh, the church is usually always open. We do close it um, in the afternoon, but um, for the most part, it's open. So it's open to any students who want to come and use it just to pray, just to kind of get away, be, you know, have some quiet time um, here at the church. So that is also available. Um, and Father Joe is our pastor, so you'll see him around. Um, he's been here for, I believe, 16 years. So he is, um, He's very well known around here and very recognized, um, but he is always here for you and I'm always here for you as well. And um, if you, you know, if you do want to be more intentional about attending our events, we do have a text messaging system that we use. So that's another way to kind of stay connected to what our ministry is doing. Um, but that's kind of what our membership looks like. Um, you know, again, it's not an official 
membership, but um, as long as you're involved, you can be as involved as you want. And we are happy to um, help you in any way that we can. That is why we're here. And yeah, look forward to meeting y'all soon. Um, well, since Beta Upsilon Chi is a fraternity, um, our membership kind of looks like having, from a week to week uh, view, we have a chapter every week, we, um, we have Bible study every week, we have brotherhood events so we can connect with each other better every week, um, we participate in intramurals, like we have things going on every week that allows us a chance to connect with each other. I would say uh, on top of that, uh, cell groups, what I said earlier, kind of imitation of a small group. Uh, it's about five or six guys. Um, and every semester we do a new one um, or every year, depends on um, what the officers say, and what they decide. Uh, but that's just a chance to really uh, dig into each other's lives, help each other become uh, more God-fearing men, God-serving men, um, and just more Christ-like overall. Uh, on top of that, there is, uh, since we are a fraternity, it is, is, there is a new member, uh, I guess, training you go through to just learn about the history of the fraternity, uh, learn about who we are, and just make sure you're 100% uh, sure that you want to join Beta Upsilon Chi, uh, because we want everyone to feel at home and feel like they found uh, their spiritual home away from home uh, before they uh, say that they want to become a full member. Like most others have said on here, the BSU also does not have necessarily membership. It's more of just involvement. Um, so, like, on a weekly basis, one of the things most people would be involved in a Bible study. Uh, we have two types of Bible studies. One is specifically for freshmen. It's our Fresh Start groups are led by upperclassmen. And that's a great way for freshmen to get in, to come in and know each other. And then also after that, there are the missional community groups, which are just our Bible studies that go they're also student led, but they go through various things uh, that we go through every Tuesday night in our worship services. And for other students with different skills, there's ways to get plugged in. So those who may be musically talented can join our worship team. Uh, those who are really good with people have good personal interpersonal skills. They may go out on campus and interact and get to know people and just be part of our outreach team. Yeah, and I would say um, as others have said before, you don't have to be Baptist to come to the Baptist Student Union just in the same way that you don't have to be Catholic to go to the Catholic um, Center. We're right next to the Catholic um, Center on campus, the Catholic Church on campus, so right a little further down from the Ford Center. Um, and one of the things that we do every week as well um, is on Thursdays we go out and work in an underprivileged neighborhood. So if you like kids, come on and come serve with us. We have a great ministry out there with that. And so any interest kind of that you have, um, we have a drama team. We have some other things. Um, and so come check us out and you can see if uh, you can fit in a niche there. We'll find something for you. All right. So since we're sort of toward the end of our session, um, we do want to save some time for students to ask any questions that they might have. But um, for our panelists, was there anything that sort of last minute things that you might want to add into? Um, we can kind of go down the line and just have you add those things. If there's anything we maybe didn't cover that you'd like to highlight really quick. Yeah, I just like to say, especially, you know, for freshmen on this call, um, college is kind of your first um, time that your faith is going to kind of become your own. I know, you know, when you're at home and in high school, it's your parents are making you go to church or, you know, that's kind of like something that kind of comes along with your family life. But like in college, it's the first time that you get to decide um, what you want to do with your faith um, and being a part of a student ministry has been the most important part of that for me in college and so if I had any advice to give y'all I would say like make sure you get um, plugged in somewhere because um, it can really college is going to lead you in so many different directions and having that student ministry that kind of grounds you um, in Christ is super important mm -hmm. and so that's what I have to say but yeah definitely and do it your freshman year. I waited till my junior year, um, and I I wrestled with it a lot. Um, and it's it's hard at first. Uh, anywhere you go, it's going to be weird and awkward. Um, push through that. I mean, I wish I had. Um, I gave up too easily, and then it, it took me a long time um, to to come back and and find where uh, I felt home and uh, just loved. And so. 
yeah, it's worth it. It's worth the the semester or however long it's going to take for you to to warm up to those around you. Well said. I don't have anything else to add from you, Kirk. I don't think. <laughs> Um, I guess just to piggyback off of what they said, um, freshman year is very, I, I think that it's very important to find what's for you, but you don't want, all you also don't want to rush into it and then your freshman, because it's your freshman year and you just feel like you have to find somewhere to go. Um, I just encourage y'all to take y'all's time, but you don't want to wait too late also. Yeah, so just what everybody else has said, um, I think it's important to find some sort of community while you're on campus, even if it's not our organization, we hope that you find some sort of organization. Um, but just if you have any questions about FileAM and what that looks like, um, we do have a bunch of different social medias, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, so definitely feel free to reach out. We also have an interest form and information about recruitment um, posted all over that. And we hope to see you this fall. And we can't wait for you to be at Ole Miss with all of us. Yeah, um, in terms of the Rebels for Christ, um, I mean, I, I just, if you're on this call or if you're watching it later, uh, there's obviously some spiritual intentionality in your life as, a, uh, as an incoming freshman. Um, and so just keep on keeping on, keep on pressing. Um, get plugged in somewhere, as everyone's been saying, and, um, and you're just, you're just going to watch God work through that if, if you're willing to commit to a body. Uh, but do commit to a body uh, of people and, and also don't just commit to a campus ministry, commit to a local church body and get involved in intergenerational relationships because those, those are transformative. Uh, those are, those are powerful. Um, follow, you know, if you just look up, um, this is kind of my last bit, if you look up Ole Miss campus ministries, you're going to see all of our websites. You type that into Instagram, you're going to see all of our Instagram pages um just start following all of us and and, and just kind of get a feel for for each of us and where you want to get get plugged in but do get plugged in somewhere and don't just let it be a campus ministry get plugged into the local church body yeah absolutely going along with kind of the same thing that everyone's saying is get involved to like try some things out some things maybe for you some things might not be but definitely try it out and um just plug in right at the start um, for PL College, I did want to mention that we are finding a new building to create more room for our incoming freshmen, our transfers, our college ministry, um, and beyond. So that's really exciting. So stay tuned for what our new building will look like and um, all of that kinds of stuff. We do have um, social media presence as well. So we have like a Facebook and we have Instagram. So definitely check us out on there. And um, lastly, I just wanted to leave you all with something um, that I've learned through Pine Lake College, um, and I'm ever growing and walking further in my faith through Pine Lake College, but um, I've just learned how to put Jesus in the center of my life, whether that be with relationships, with family life, school, or just everyday situations, good or bad. Um, the Lord has just spoken into so many areas um, of my life through Pine Lake College, and um, ultimately, like, God cares about you. God cares about your heart. God loves you and desires a relationship with you. And so to learning um, of knowing that you're loved, knowing that you're accepted, knowing that you're free, but it's so different to live like you're loved and live like you're accepted, live like you're free, live like you're forgiven. And so I have really just, my faith has grown exponentially since um, joining Pine Lake College. So I highly encourage y'all to just press in and um, just check us out and see if that could be something that you're interested in as well. I just want to say thank you just for tuning in and watching and listening to what everybody had to say. Like you could have done so much different things with your time, but just knowing that you came and listened to us, I just want to say thank you so much for that. And the fact that you're doing that shows a lot about all the things that you're passionate about, kind of. So I just want to say, do keep on doing what you're doing, keeping your head strong, even through these uncertainties of time, just continue to be great. And also find somewhere to go and fit in and join one of these amazing ministries in varsity. 
Yeah, definitely encouraged by what uh, God is doing through all these uh, different ministries here on campus. And so uh, for you guys who are prospective uh, or uh, incoming freshmen, uh, want to echo everything, get involved somewhere. Um, I want you to consider being involved with crew mainly just because we want to train and equip you on how to walk with God for a lifetime. And so uh, evangelism discipleship is something that we are passionate about. And so whether it's uh, through a pandemic uh, like this year, or whether it's through a normal normal circumstances, whatever those are in the future, um, really want you to consider being involved just to be trained and equipped on how to have a ministry uh, in light of any kind of circumstance. And so um, we're excited about what the fall holds and hope you'll come check us out. Um, yeah, first and foremost, thanks for tuning in. Um, thank you everybody for participating. Um, I just want to say to the freshmen, like, you cannot do college alone, okay? This Christian life we're living, it's not, for, it's not meant for us to do it alone. So it's very important to find you a community, to find you a group of people where you feel like they're your family away from your family. So get plugged in, fight for your community. This year, given the times that we're in, it's very important to plug in and just make the best out of this experience, um, your first year, your first semester, just college in general, because this will prepare you for the then after, after graduation, post graduate, post undergraduate, and then on. So thank y'all. I just want to say from the University of Mississippi Gospel Choir that we are so grateful and we really appreciate everyone that has tuned in to this session. Um, but this year for the Gospel Choir is I've been really I've been really working hard with Ontarius and our job is to help mold this choir into something beautiful and help members understand that they are a part of something much bigger than themselves. Um, my mission, my vision for this choir is for us to become performers who sing to our heart's content and performers who appreciate the art of singing while spreading the passion of love and the gospel to our audiences. We know that you can't join every campus ministry. We know that that's not possible, but if you can just come and check out the gospel choir. We practice every Monday we usually practice in Bishop Hall, but we are working on a bigger space to um, help us social distance. So, um, and also check out our social media platforms. We do have a Facebook page, um, University of Mississippi Gospel Choir, and a Instagram page, the University of Mississippi Gospel Choir. Thank you. Yeah, so um, from Catholic Camps Ministry, um, we're just looking forward to having you, whatever that's gonna look like. Um, uh, we will have the sacraments available to the best of our capacity. Uh, obviously, we'll be following the guidelines as well as our own diocesan guidelines that um, the diocese will provide for us for the Catholic Church. Um, but yeah, we would love to, to have you if you're Catholic, if you're not Catholic, if you kind of just wanted to know more about the Catholic faith, been curious about it, we're here for you. Uh, we have a lot of great students, great missionaries who are here to help you um, learn more about Jesus Christ and the Catholic Church, um, whether that's through you know, coffee, whether that's through Bible study, whatever that may be, um, we are here for you. Um, again, we do, uh, you know, the best way to connect with us is on social media. So kind of going back to what others were saying, um, if you're interested in that, just go follow us. Um, it's ccmolemiss.com and there you'll find all of our information um, as far as how to get connected. And also you can find what the updates are for this year. Um, so we're very happy to get started again. Um, and you know, unfortunately it's under these pandemic times. So we'll be doing the best that we can, but I, I highly recommend that you do get involved in, in a ministry. Um, and it, it's just so important because I, I, I saw the fruit of that in my own life. And so um, I want that for others. And um, you do meet some great friends and you know those friends will be with you. Uh, forever. So, and I can attest to that. I, you know, have great friends and I, and I want that for other people too, because it is so important to walk um, with other people on this journey to getting to know Jesus Christ. So again, like somebody else said, you know, you can't do this alone. You can, but um, why would you want to do that? Um, so yeah, if anybody is interested in more information, just go over to our website.
the piggyback off of the social media. Check us out on Instagram, uh, Twitter, uh, BYX Ole Miss. If you want more information, you can find it there uh, and hit us up. Also, we're located right off of University Avenue. We have a house, um, 25 Highway 334, uh, which is right off University Avenue, about a mile from campus. Um, and I think I speak for everyone here when I say that we don't want you uh, to conform to who we think you should be. We want to know who you want to be in Christ and help you get there. Um, so thank you for tuning in, uh, and I hope to see you soon. Yeah, I would say um, just echoing some of what others have said of just getting plugged into a church um, and getting plugged into a local body. I mean, I think just as well, it can be easy to church hop or it can be easy to go where the free food is, um, whether that's campus minister or, uh, or a church. Um, but just getting plugged in with a consistent body of people that can check up on you that will know if you're there one week or if you're not. Um, and just as well, it talks about in 1 Corinthians 12 of the body of Christ. Um, and the church has a lot to offer you. And these student organizations, these campus ministries have a lot to offer you. Um, but I want to encourage you that you have a lot to offer these campus ministries. You have a lot to offer the local church um, that they need you. Um, you look at many of the historic um, events, you look at people's lives when they're changed and movements, you, uh, Charles Spurgeon or even somebody secular like Steve Jobs, um, they find kind of their passion, they find where they're going to go during their college years, um, that 18 to 22 age range. Um, and so, man, I'm excited to see what this generation um, can do, especially for the gospel. Um, and so I pray that you'll check out one of these these groups. Um, and then the last thing from, from us is the Baptist Student Union. Um, if you haven't gotten a free gift from us, make sure to go to our Instagram page and fill out our little form. We'd, be, we'd love to send you a, a free gift just to welcome you to Ole Miss. All right, so to our student participants, do y'all have any questions um, for any of our panelists? And you don't have to ask. You can put it in the chat if you want to, um, or you know later if you do want to follow any of the organizations um, or campus ministries on social media. You can also ask questions there. All right, so I will go ahead and just um, start wrapping this session up. Um, thank you so much to all of our panelists today who joined us. Y'all provided so much great information. Um, and we're excited to obviously publish this video so other students can also see it um, and find out more information about all of your organizations and campus ministries. Um, we'll also be sharing um, your contact information with all of our students who registered for Virtual Involvement Week. So they might be reaching out to you there as well. Um, for our students, we hope you'll join us for a few of our other sessions that take place for the rest of this week. Um, we are in the middle part of our virtual involvement week. So we're excited to engage with y'all um, throughout the rest of the week. But if you'll have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at getinvolved.olmiss.edu. Um, thank y'all so much and I hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday. All right. Thank you, bye. Thank you for hosting. Bye. Thanks. Thanks.